Hello friend, it's Pat Sloan here for Magical Quilty May Challenges and we are on day 21. First I must preface that yesterday I think I lost my mind. I have this check sheet that I tape up here. Did I look at it yesterday? No, I didn't. I had other things I have laid out here so I don't be sure I don't forget anything and I didn't do the things that I wanted to do yesterday. So, a couple things will be catch up. But first, first let's do the challenge. The challenge today is the book nook. The book nook. So I want to know a little bit about the book you are currently reading. What are you currently reading? Uh, tell me here on the comments. Show me over in the Facebook group, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. Uh, love to see what book you're reading. And it doesn't have to be a quilt book. Maybe you get bonus points if it's a quilt book. I will show you a couple of new books I got in here. So I'll do a little book nook and a little other chatter about books uh, in a second. So that's our challenge for today. What book, what book are you reading? I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I always think that someday it'd be fun to have a book club. Years ago, I did a book with a sew along. Actually, I did a couple of different things. I either had the title was, you know, like the block was inspired by a book. And then the other thing I had was I actually did a sew along with uh, author and fr a friend of mine, Emily Richards. And so it was for a book that she had written. And we designed a sew along to go with it, which was very fun. Uh, those are, so someday I might, I might do that again, do something interesting like that. Let's do a rainbow blocks. Ta-da, blue, blue, everything blue. We're into blue, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you so much. We've gone to the blue section, which is not nearly as long as the green. So what do I have? I have these little kitties this was part of a Christmas line, but I don't think it looks that Christmassy, but I think it's so cute. And then I have umbrellas. Oh, there we go. So umbrellas in the rain and some polka dots, or actually they look more like eggs to me. <laughs> Egg dots. <laughs> so I counted up, I think after this, there are like four of the days that I'll have three, um, or six rather, six, and the rest will be four to get to the end, and I might speed it up. I might do a few extra so that the last couple of days I'm assembling it. So now I can do this whole section here, add in those blues where, uh, you know, and then piece another whole, whole big group. Okay, so what I forget yesterday, duh, I forgot our childhood games block. We were back to block Wednesday. And so this is the block yesterday. And it is all about ball games, baseball, softball to be particular. Uh, and first, first let me tell you that um, about the block. So when I started laying out fabrics, I went through, you know, I'm working with a certain set of fabrics for childhood games. And a couple of them I've used quite a bit, so there's not much of them. But as I was playing around, I wasn't finding the combination. You know, I was like, eh, eh, eh. And then I put down, I had a bit of this left, and I laid it down for this position to audition. And you saw it on the blog post yesterday. I showed you that. And it was like, yes, this is it. This is so cute. It's exactly what it needs. It had needed a lot of pattern in here. Uh, that just made it sing. It made the block great. Um, but it also meant that I had to really be careful because there isn't much of this left. If you're sewing along with me, if you have to piece it, if you had to piece it or you haven't done it yet and you want to do it exactly like mine because you use the same fabric, if you have to piece it, just piece it. It's busy and it's a skinny strip, so you're not even going to notice that. But this also is a directional fabric, so if you haven't noticed that the sloth, he's hanging from a branch, so he's actually supposed to be upside down. And then there's the tiger, and he's right side up. But because I had very limited amount of fabric, the sloth is sideways, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with all that. So this is Childhood Games. Now, the um, part I gave you a little story about, you know, whether someone would like, did you play baseball? Did you play softball? I mean, I did. I disliked it immensely. 
not my game <laughs> at all. This, this is an elementary school. My team was called the Crows. I will never forget that. I liked the jerseys, and I liked the concept of going with the other people on the team. This, this was an all-girls team at the, back then, and the other girls in the team, that was fun. They were my friends, and they were fun. The actual playing of the game, no. No, 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 no. I don't mind watching. I love going to ball game. We go to a lot of them when we're on travel. We will watch, you know, go get tickets and go see a local game. Or um, we go down with at, we visit my brother. They have the summer camp. Uh, if we're going down there like in March, I think it starts for the big leagues. So that's kind of fun. They're big. He and his wife are big ball game watchers. They they love they like a lot of sports so they watch they watch a lot me not so much but i must tell you that speaking of the book nook so besides quilt books this is a book that i picked up um on on facebook there's a group called um little friends of mike's mom something like that <laughs> mike Rowe, if you're familiar with actor uh mike Rowe. He, his mother, um, I forget, Peggy, I think her name is Peggy, yeah, Peggy Rowe, she, she wrote a book. She may have written one, more than one book, but she wrote a book, and what's kind of funny is that the book is not about her son. He might be in there somewhere eventually, he is as a little kid, but the book is about herself and her mom, and it's titled uh, About My Mother, True Stories of a Horse-Crazy Daughter, that's Peggy, and her baseball obsessed mother, a memoir. So Peggy's mother, Mike's grandmother, is is a, is was a baseball obsessed uh, lady. So it is actually a really cool read. It's like little stories, like they're little, like short. Not you know they they they're through time. So we're going you know through moving through time. You know, talking when she was younger, and then parts of it was was she's a young mom, and you know different things like that. But it is not. Um, it, it is not about the actor uh, or host. You know, Mike. It's uh, about it's about her life, his mom's life, and she is quite a character. You can see he did not fall far from the tree. So, uh, <laughs> and, and if his grandma was the same, uh, yeah, <laughs> he was bound for greatness. <laughs> Those ladies are hysterical. I just love it. I read it slowly. I don't read it a whole bunch. So I will link you down here. Link down below. You can go see uh, if you want to read it. It's, I don't know. I like reading something that's not totally fiction, but is entertaining. You know, like she's a, she's a good writer. <laughs> she may have missed her calling. <laughs> so I have my triangle table runner. Ta-da! Here we go. So this is the zigzag table runner. And my goal was to make it very soft and blendy. So I think I accomplished that. I did not want any hard lines. I did not want any really firm zigzag like the Halloween one. I wanted it really soft. I wanted, And I wanted to use all those colors. I'm going to um, put this down the table here. Let's take a look at it because I want to just talk about talk about it a minute. Here we go. Or oh, I'm not. Okay. So I have the yellow, which also has these pops of white, you know, because they use them as the yellow. And it goes, you know, goes along. And what I'm going to do is I have some heavier weight. This is the 30 weight Aurifil. So it is a little heavier weight thread. And this color is kind of a tan so it really blends in nicely and I'm going to do zigzag on the tan and then I have 50 weight which is a thinner thread you know there you can see the 50 weight and that will be on the green and I'm not sure I might just do swirls in there like on the um you know, anything I put on here, you're not going to see as much. It's not like the, the Halloween one where, it's, where the green was solid, and so it was very distinct. You, know, all, you saw all the bubbles of the quilting. This is not that way. So I may just do lines for that, too. I may just do straight lines for both. Um, they take, that takes a little bit longer than if I free motion. Free motion actually is quicker than walking foot quilting. Uh, a fact of life. 
um, but those are the two colors so I'm keeping it pretty soft all of this is very blendy and this is exactly the look I wanted I did not want anything really distinct um, if I had wanted it the zigzag to be stronger visually then I would need to have used like less colors like all the colors like I would have probably taken these lights out these two light colors out and kept them in the you know other shades that would have made it a little less a little stronger zigzag then totally strong would have been to maybe use the same fabric you know use one fabric for the green and maybe just mix up the yellow and that's the concept that was on the Halloween one which was a few videos back okay so that's the zigzag <laughs> Tomorrow I will show you my stitch mania. Yes. So that is, I am stitching on it every day. So I am walking the walk, my friends. I am walking the walk uh, and getting it done. I have, I want to show it to you, but not, not today. So before we go, another, two other things for the book nook. It's things you can look at. And I'm going to show you these a little bit more detail, but I have two books. That you might I'll link you to so you can take a look at them one is the quilters cottage which is this super big house and then like the quilts on the line and then there's other things like the pillows and a cute table runner so this is a pretty um, it's a pretty big quilt there it is it's 74 by 89 so it's a really nice lap size if you like to cuddle or nice big big wall hanging and then the other quilt that, uh, the book that I got in, I uh, wanted to show you was The Acorn Cottage. And I saw this quilt in person here. It is spectacular. The whole concept of having those shaded, um, shaded fabrics, or not shaded fabric, like, you know, just light, medium, and dark to get that effect. It is so cool. So this is Brenda Riddle's book. Okay. I'll talk more about those. We are... We are on a roll here. Reminder, the Jolly Bar is not today. Um, we postponed it. So you have time to get your book in if you have it on order. And if you haven't ordered it yet, order it today. <laughs> so that, yeah, this, this one. You want to order it today and in your Jolly Bar. Be sure that you have enough time because things are taking like almost three weeks sometimes between ordering and, and receiving. So it's a bit slow. Okay, my friends, I love you. Mwah. Have a great day and I will see you online. <laughs>